Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me online. Kevin Hurd here again from KevinTalksTech.com, here to share another one of my favorite gadgets with you. Today I want to introduce you to the WTV Live Box made by Western Digital. This box allows you to stream different programming out there on the internet like Netflix, Hulu, Vudu, YouTube, all so you can watch it on your television set. In addition to that, it has multiple USB ports on it so you can plug in flash drives, external hard drives, and that way you can watch some of your digital video files on this box. And today I wanna to walk you through the process of setting this thing up and showing you exactly what it can do. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the box itself. You can see on the box there is there are two USB ports. Again, this will allow you to hook up your own flash drive, your own uh, USB external hard drive. It does have an ethernet port, so you can plug an internet connection directly into it. It does also have Wi-Fi though. And then of course an HDMI out on here that will go into your television set so you get a nice high quality picture. And then of course an optical uh, input output on here as well if you do have that higher quality sound going out to your TV. So let's talk about how you hook this thing up. We're gonna go ahead and do the hookup right now. Again, like I said, this does have an HDMI connection on it. In addition to that, an ethernet connection. I always use that for the internet. That way you don't get any interrupted Wi-Fi traffic or if the Wi-Fi traffic happened to be busy with some of the other devices. And then that way you always get a really nice solid connection. So everything is hooked into the box right now. Let's go ahead, we'll turn on the television set. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up the WD Live Box. Now, one thing to note, the WD Live Box does come with its own remote control, which I really like. Pretty easy to use remote control. However, if you've used a Roku box, I actually really like the Roku remote. Just a little bit better, a little bit more user-friendly, but this one is still not bad. And it does, by the way, also have an app for it too. You can download the remote app for your iPhone, your Android phone, so you can actually control this box with your phone as well. All right, so we're gonna go through some of the settings now to hook up the WD Live Box. I've just gone through the language, gone through the internet as well. Again, I am using this with an ethernet cable, but if you are doing a Wi-Fi connection with this, there are some Wi-Fi setup options as well. Now, once you've gone through all the settings to get your WD Live Box hooked up, we're now taken to the main menu of the WD Live. And what I really like about this is this nice, crisp, clear 1080p picture that they do have on here. You can set this background image to something that you like. And then of course all your options, photos, music, videos, live television, those are some of the services you can subscribe to. Services like Netflix, Hulu, games, RSS feeds, of course files, that's where you hook in your USB flash drive or your external hard drive into the box itself and you can access the files. And then of course you have your setup in here as well to really get the box going. As I said, I'm already connected to the internet right now because I don't have to do Wi-Fi with this box. If you did have to connect this to Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and go through the setup menu to take care of the password, connecting to the right network, that kind of thing. We go into services. And here you can see there are many different services available on the WD Live Box. Cinema Now, your Facebook feed, Hulu Plus, Vudu, YouTube, just to name a few. Netflix, of course, is on here too. Not quite as many, though, as a Roku Box. I often like to make the comparison between a Roku Box because that by far is my favorite set-top entertainment box you connect to a television set. The one advantage here is you do have a YouTube channel, which you don't get on the Roku Box. Uh, all these other channels, though, work pretty well, too. So let's go ahead and maybe go into the Netflix channel. We're going to go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so what I've done here in just the last few minutes is I've gone, I've clicked on that Netflix application within the WD Live box. I've gone through, I've put in my username, my password, and now I've been taken to this home screen right here where I can get my instant Qui on Netflix, my recently watched videos, and then of course all the different Netflix options that are available, popular on Netflix, the random picks, all that kind of witty NBC comedies, that type of thing. Now before we go any further, there is one other feature I wanna tell you about that I really, really love about this box, and is the ability to use your phone, not just the remote, to do all of the controls. There is an app available in your phone's app store. It's on the iPhone, it's on the Android. You can download this app by searching WD Live, WD Remote, that kind of thing. Once you download the app and your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the box itself, it allows you to take control, move around the programs. You can see right now I'm moving through Netflix. 
by using my phone, pushing the up button, pushing the down button. The one other advantage to using your phone, by the way, when you do this type of thing, is the search function. You have a keyboard on your phone, which makes it much easier than the remote. I can hit search right here. You can see the search menu has come up. If I want to go ahead and do a search, I can just type in, whoops, we'll go right back. I can type this keyboard button as well. Let's say I want to maybe watch the movie Happy Gilmore. Just go ahead and type in Happy Gilmore on my phone and you can see that the movie comes up here on the right side of the screen. Now one other app that I want to go ahead and show you here on the WD Live Box is the YouTube app. Something that is my favorite. I love this because it is not available on the Roku Box. You can see this is the setup right here. You've got videos, channels. You can sign in of course to access your own videos and some of your other favorites too. In here it's just as easy as clicking the search button. When you do so, we can go up here, we can begin a search. Let's say once again, we wanna maybe look up some Happy Gilmore clips. So we're gonna go ahead, type in Happy Gilmore. Once we do so, whoop, the search box comes up again, so let's go ahead and try that once more. Happy Gilmore appears in the upper right hand, upper left hand corner of the screen, I should say. I go ahead and click search on my phone, and you can see some of these clips are going to begin loading here on the side of the screen. Now one other feature that I want to talk about with the WD Live Box, actually the whole reason I bought the box, is the ability to plug in a USB powered flash drive, a USB powered external hard drive, to be able to watch digital video files on screen right here. You can do this with some of the Roku boxes that are available out there right now. I've actually never tested the Roku boxes for this, but I will tell you that the performance with this one actually works out pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. What you do is you plug in your USB, into the box itself. It's got a port on the front, like I said, and there is also a second port on the back. Now that we've got that all hooked up, let's go ahead and go to the videos right now. It's very easy to do. Again, you have all these tabs along the bottom of your screen right here. I'm gonna navigate to the one that says videos. When you do that, you'll see a screen come up, or there was a screen that came up that always asks you where you want to pull that video from. If you're getting video from this type of device right here, a USB device inside the box, you're always gonna click local storage, and then you're gonna see those folders come up on screen with the video. I've put some videos in here that we can check out that I've shot off of my own personal camera. So let's go ahead, we'll pull some of those up. For instance, let's go ahead and maybe take a look at this one. And what I've done with these two, these are all shot in high definition as well. So we really get a chance to see that crisp, clear, high definition video up on screen. This is on top of a building in downtown Minneapolis. And really look at how clear that video is and how great it looks on top of the screen. Now, this does accept certain file formats only as well. That was an MOV that I played just a little bit ago. Does accept MP4s as well, a very common format. If you want to see more on those formats that this thing does take, I've put a link to that up on the website at kevintalkstech.com. All right, and that's going to do it. Again, I'm talking about the WDTV Live Box today. Really enjoyed this product. I guess if I had to compare this to the Roku box, it does have its ups and downs. I really like the fact that you can do YouTube on this box. I really like the fact that you do have the ability to plug in a USB flash drive or USB external hard drive into the box. And there are two outlets, by the way, for this. The Roku box does have this feature. However, you do need to spend a little bit more money to get the higher end Roku to do this. Now, in terms of pricing for this, I really want to stress that there are multiple options available. If you go somewhere like Best Buy to check out this kind of thing, I've seen it there for 90 to $100. However, I did buy this particular model on Amazon for about $50. I think it's refurbished. So shop around a little bit, check Amazon, check some online stores, and maybe even check the big box stores like Best Buy to see if they're running a special deal on this. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of KevinTalksTech.com. Please head to our website if you haven't already. KevinTalksTech.com is the place to go if you wanna read more about this product. I've written my review up there. And hey, if you haven't subscribed already, please, please go to our YouTube page click the subscribe button. That's the best way for us to stay in touch. Our Facebook page is awesome too. Head there and of course our Twitter feed as well. And that'll do it for this episode of kevintalkstech.com. Thanks again for joining me. See you next time.